See, you know what? Because I heard the click stop and I saw you, I thought you stopped. What's up guys, it's Lucas and you're watching Fine Tuning. As you probably know if you've watched my channel over the past year, the Blue Guitar Amp 1 Iridium Edition is my main rig for both of my bands. For me, it can cover everything from softer pop sounds to stadium rock sounds to full bore metal and hard rock tones. I adore my Amp 1 for its incredible versatility, consistency, reliability, and compact form factor. I've been using the Amp 1 with an IR loader DI with Whistler for the past year to great success. Intertwined, however, still uses live cabs for that raw, aggressive live feel. Now in rehearsal thus far, I've been using my original two Boogie oversized 112 cabinets or my beloved Oak Legend 212 cabinet, but the Boogie cabinets are really big and heavy and they're hard to move around and the Oak cabinet, the Legend, is just too special for me to take out to gigs. So I contacted my good friends Rich and Thomas at Blue Guitar and asked them which one of the Blue Guitar cabinets they would recommend for my particular sound. And after I asked 500 questions, they were nice enough to send me all three cabinets so that I can compare them and decide for myself. The 112 Nano Cab, the 112 Fat Cab, and the 212 Twin Cab. So today I'm going to do a massive comparison of all three cabs and I'm going to find out what their strengths are and also what differentiates them tonally. Then I can give you my thoughts as to what each cab might be best for and also my personal preference. Furthermore, I'm going to make impulse responses of all three cabs individually and then I'm also going to do combination impulse responses using my Redwires Mix IR program. To keep this comparison as scientifically accurate as possible, I'm going to play through a live cab, but I'm going to be taking a DI tap of my guitar. Then I'm going to reamp that DI tap through my rig into each cab variation so that we can compare them all at the end of the video. The rig will consist of one of my PRS guitars loaded with Planet Tone pickups. I'll put which one on the screen, and then that will go to my Blue Guitar Amp 1 Iridium Edition and then to each individual cab. The cabs will be mic'd with two SM57s, one on axis pointed directly at the center of the dust cap, and the other off-axis kind of pointed at the cone at about a 45 degree angle. Let's get started. Let's start with the Nano Cab. The Nano Cab is essentially the smallest you can make a 112 cabinet and it still sound good. It weighs about 14 pounds and it's easily put in your trunk or even in your luggage if you want to travel. It features two small base ports on the front as well as a panel on the back that can be removed to generate more of an open back sound and feel. We'll start with the clean channel with some delay and reverb. Next, we'll use the Vintage Channel for some rock tones. Now we'll use the classic channel for some heavier riffs.
Finally, here's some high gain lead tones on the modern channel with some delay. <laughs> On to the Fat Cab. The Fat Cab is also a 112 cabinet, but it is noticeably larger than the Nano Cab. It has a deeper, fuller bottom that gives the illusion of a 412 cabinet. It's still very compact and trunk friendly, but it isn't quite as low profile as the Nano Cab. Here's the clean channel. Now the Vintage Channel. and the classic channel. and the modern channel. With the twin cab, we move into a 212 format. This will give you the most power handling and headroom of the bunch. It also gives you the option to run both speakers in mono at 16 ohms or each speaker individually stereo at 8 ohms apiece. 
This cap can also be oriented vertically or horizontally, which believe it or not actually has a pretty drastic effect on the tone. And the blue guitar logo even spins so that you can match your orientation, which I absolutely love. Here's the clean channel. Now the Vintage Channel. The Classic Channel. and the Modern Channel.
But wait, there's more. You can, of course, make your own 212 by combining the 112 nano cab and the 112 fat cab. In fact, I believe Thomas Bluke himself is a fan of this configuration. The nano cab has a lot more upper mid grind and attack, whereas the fat cab has a lot more low end resonance. This gives you the option of taking either single cab or combining both cabs for kind of a bi amp approach. Putting them both together sounds like this. Of course, I had to take it a step further and try all three cabs at once, naturally. This will give you a full-blown modular 412 that is incredibly three-dimensional. I've been using it like this in my tiny office for weeks. And you can actually safely do this with the speaker connections available to you on the cabs. The fat cab and nano cab can be run in series for 16 ohms. Then that pair can be run in parallel with the 16 ohm twin cab, which will give you a parallel load of 8 ohms. And that sounds like this.
There are several variations of these multi-cab combinations depending on the orientation of the twin cab and the open back or closed back function of the nano cab. In the Google Drive folder I linked in the video description, you can download 11 different impulse responses, all the cabs individually as well as several different cab combinations. I also use this little Sonicic IR loader that takes a small specific file size IR, so if you happen to use that as well, I did actually make versions that will work in that and they're also linked in a subfolder in that Google Drive link. So let's talk about the cabs individually. The Nano Cab has a very tight, punchy response with more mids and less bass in the open back mode. I prefer this cab for low volume home practicing, sit-in gigs, traveling, or in particular combined with the Fat Cab. I would be curious to hear two Nano Cabs together, but that's kind of a rabbit hole for another day. The Fat Cab has a much larger bass response and almost seems scooped by comparison. I like this for band rehearsals, gigs on small to medium sized stages, and of course, as I said, combined with the Nano Cab. While the Nano Cab might not have the chunky bottom to do metal stuff on its own, the Fat Cab most certainly does. The Twin Cab has the most bass of the three cabinets, but in the vertical position the bass is much tighter and the mids are much more present. It also seems to smooth out the top end quite a bit in the vertical position, which is really interesting. In the horizontal position it can produce massive low end chunky palm mutes while still cutting through the mix. In the vertical position it can really take you into sweet soaring lead tones with a nice bouncy bass response. The Twin Cab can cover a tremendous amount of ground tonally, but it is also quite a bit larger than the Nano and Fat Cabs. The Twin Cab is actually my favorite of the three cabs by itself, in particular in the vertical position. It has this great large bass without being too boomy, and it still cuts through the mix in a really nice warm and friendly way. Blending the Nano Cab and the Fat Cab together is a terrific combination. You get pronounced mid-range frequencies from the Nano Cab, and the Fat Cab fills out the bottom. You could gig on any size stage with these two cabs, and the combined headroom will give you enough to run your Amp 1 wide open if you so choose, and the sound guy doesn't choose to open a trap door on the stage. Blending the Twin Cab, Fat Cab, and Nano Cab together is a lot like running a full range PA system that has subs, mains, and horns. The three cabs together produce all of these different audio frequencies, and hearing your guitar through all of these cabs is this incredibly complex three-dimensional experience that literally gives me chills. If you just want to hear all the cabs and combinations back to back, here you go.
If you stuck around this long, congratulations on being as guitar nerdy as me. In conclusion, the Nano Cab, Fat Cab, and Twin Cab are all excellent in their own right. The Twin Cab is undoubtedly my favorite by itself, but the Fat Cab and Nano Cab together are really a sweet spot. Of course, my favorite combination is all three cabs together, but that's probably not practical for those of us without roadies. As I said, I made impulse responses of all these cabinets individually, as well as multiple variations and combinations, and you can download them in the Google Drive link in the description. No signing up for anything or strings attached, just click the link and download them. There are 11 in total, and I think they all sound great. I want to say a huge thanks to the folks at Blue Guitar for sending me these cabinets so I could make this comparison video and these IRs for you. Let me know in the comments which cab you liked best. Be sure to go check out Blue Guitar's website, which I have also linked in the description, and also be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And until next time, I'll catch you later.